Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KipBadger.com, out here for part two of the Coast to Coast Road Trip 2020. Filling you in with where I'm at right now. As you can see, I got the bus back here, safe and sound, back to Idaho. Picked it up over in Harlow's in Montana, drove it about two and a half, three hours, about 150 miles back home. So I got it here. What's the next step? Well, my dad came to visit and he's incredibly talented. He has done a ton of things. He used to actually be a photographer for Surfer and Surfing Magazine back in the day where you had to like be a photographer, swimming out a pipeline with 36 exposures in a 35 millimeter camera and shaping surfboards, all kinds of stuff. And through all of that, he's always done art. So whether it's pinstriping or actually like working in an automotive shop, like painting cars, all kinds of things like art based to include tons of pinstriping. So he came out to give me a hand with the bus and hang out with my boys and overall have a good time. So he started getting after it, doing a little bit of pinstriping. See how this everything goes. Right here is the beginnings of a spider web. And if we're going to have a web, we obviously need to have a spider. That'll work. Painting with the pencil. The detail stuff, really cool, but it's a really big bus and I appreciate that detail stuff up close, but what about something to make this thing pop from a distance? So my dad got started on something pretty rad, doing some flames on this. 
First, of course, there is a ton of prep work that goes into getting this thing cleaned up. Getting rid of all the gum from the letters that were on this, since it belonged to the French town Bronx. Next up, it was time to go ahead and tape off where the flames were going to be. Well, we ended up going to a legit automotive paint store. You can buy air guns for a lot of money, spray guns. And yeah, a lot of money. Like a little detail one for like 180 bucks. Instead, we went to Harbor Freight, and picked up one for 30 bucks because this is the project. This is how long it needs to last. With that, there's definitely some science as far as, yeah, just being able to mix paint. I've painted a couple cars myself, and then my dad has helped me paint my Trooper. And the other cars I painted to include the Trooper my dad helped me with, Rust-Oleum, man, that stuff is awesome. And so we ended up getting a couple cans of Rust-Oleum. I wanna say like five, maybe 10 bucks for it these cans. And with that, with our two colors in hand, to paint some flames, both red as well as yellow. My dad got started mixing up the paint, kind of thinning it down so it worked good in our spray gun. With the paint mixed, it's time to get after it. laying down that coat of yellow, it's time to switch out to the red. Of course, the coolest part when you get to peel back all that paper and tape and actually see the job underneath.
My dad did a incredible job on those flames. Super excited about them. And where are we at now? Well, one, got a whole nother side of the bus. Gonna be some more flames to include a bunch more kind of cool detail work to include some actual like pinstripe pinstriping. And yeah, it's gonna be really, really cool. While he was doing a lot of that stuff, I busied myself somewhat working on some stencils. Essentially creating some stencils for two title sponsors. Yes, two title sponsors. One, as I've already mentioned, SB Tactical. Second one, Q. Super excited to have them as one of the title sponsors. They make amazing stuff, which you will be able to come out and shoot and hear to include their silencers. And yeah, I would encourage you to come out to the range days if you can make it and you've never shot their stuff. As much as I can tell you, hey, this is light, the bolt throw, blah, 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 until you pick it up and shoot it, like, you won't get it. Stuff's pretty incredible. So working on those stencils to go ahead and get those logos up to include some other ones from our other sponsors. And yeah, definitely a lot of work to be done on the inside as well. Start pulling seats out and uh, yeah, have some cool plans for stuff in there. So we'll see as this unfolds, but this is happening. Coast to coast, it's happening and I'm really excited about it. Really, really thank you to all of you who have supported it. You guys have helped make this thing happen and excited to bring you with me on this journey. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitpatcher.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. If I fall down